Today is one of the most important gifts that you've been given because it is in this day that things can change. It is in this day that you can act. It's in this day that you can get your breakthrough or whatever it is. But the problem is that it's easy for us to take this day for granted, to look at this day and maybe postpone our living, knowing full well that maybe tomorrow is going to come, the following day is going to come, and then we take today for granted. We're discussing in these episodes how we can make the most of the day you know, emotionally, physically, spiritually, whatever, the most of the day, this is the day, this is the gift that we have right now. How do we make today count? How do we live our lives in such a way that at the end of this day, it has counted? Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. If someone asks you out of the blue, how do you spend your day? How are you going to answer that person? What answer are you going to give them? Are you going to scratch around for an answer? Are you going to tell them how your day differs from the other day and so on? Is there a system that you can give them that tells them that you are being productive and you're being intentional in the way your day is going to be used or in the day, in the way your days are normally used? That's the most important question that you need to answer. You know why I'm doing this? I'm doing this because it is easy for us to become so familiar with the day because it's always there. Since we were born, the day has always been there. You know, you wake up and there's a day. And then you sleep and then you wake up then there's a day. And then one year and then two years and three years, a decade has passed, two decades, three decades, you wake up and the day is still there. And the most common thing, we take it for granted. Salt is very cheap because it's it's common. And we take it for granted. The day is always there and we take it for granted until we realize that the day is no longer there. I think it's Ivan McManus who said something interesting. He said that time, it treats, tricks us as if it is the best friend that we ever have. And the problem is that in time, it runs away from us or we run away from, from the time. I mean, we get short of time. The day can always be there, but what you do with the day, that very day, today, is the most important thing. If you don't approach the day from an intentional level, from a productive level, that I want this day to produce this, and I want this day to produce that, and I want this day to do this, this, and that, chances are that the day is going to pass. And then you think that you're going to do those things that you wanted to do tomorrow. And then tomorrow never comes. So you keep postponing for tomorrow and it never comes. And you look back, the days you've been given have been wasted and wasted and wasted waiting for tomorrow to come and tomorrow never comes. And at the end of the day, your productivity is not there. Your life is basically wasted. And what you find yourself doing is default stuff. You wake up, you brush your teeth, you go and eat, you you go quote unquote to work and you come back and you become like a machine. You know, just going through the routines. At the end of the day, someone asks you about your productivity, it's not there. They ask you about your purpose, it's not there. You know, they ask you about your intentionality in life, it's not there. And you've just been existing and existing and existing. We're discussing in these episodes, how can we make the most and the best of this particular day that we've been given? There are very many principles that I discussed in the previous episodes that I said you should be able to use them and the principles for example you approach the day knowing that it's 
one step. Tomorrow is banking on today's step. So it's bit by bit. That's one principle. Slowly by slowly, bit by bit, process by process, day by day. If you're approaching it day by day, then it means that this brick, which is today, has to be as healthy as any other. So you, you're not going to ignore today and postpone to tomorrow because tomorrow is banking on today. That is the first principle. The second principle is actually related to the first one, which is consistency. As in, find some things that you can be able to do on a daily basis. That's why I talked about systems uh, a few moments ago. Find something that you can do today and do tomorrow and the following day and the following day and the following day and the following day. Consistency is a very big principle for the day. And that tells you that today cannot be wasted because there's something that was done yesterday which you're supposed to do today. The third principle is urgency. Don't just you know be existing as if you have 200 years to live. Exist in this day as if it's the last. Steve Jobs told us that, that if you knew that you're going to die, it's one of the biggest blessings because you are so alert and you're so alive and you're so urgent and you're so zealous with the things that you're doing because time is of essence. You see, the problem with us is to think that time is not of essence. Someone said that if we put a big banner somewhere counting down our years, probably we'll become more urgent in our lives. But we have this illusion as if we're going to be alive forever. So that's principle number three. And then principle number four is having non-negotiables. Things that you must do, as in the day comes, whether it's raining, it's shining, whatever, you must do those things. If you're a pastor, you must read the Bible, you must uh, uh, pray, you know, those are non-negotiables. It goes without saying, whether you're feeling like doing it or not, they've got to be done. And then the other principle, the fifth principle is the principle of saying no. The power of no. You can't just be available for everyone and for everything. If you're going to be productive in the day, you should learn to say no to some things. Learn to say no even to your father or your mother or your wife. Not because you're a bad person, but because you've got to be ordered, you've got to be planned, and you've got to have some things done. If you're not going to learn to say no, some things that are important will not be done. And therefore, after talking about those five principles, we talked about some several aspects of the day that you should be able to do. Some active, some practical things that you can be able to do. Number one, demarcate one hour for that particular day just to concentrate on yourself. You are the nucleus of productivity and therefore you need to take care of yourself. So you look for one hour. In fact, they're calling the five hour rule, which means that these big time visionaries, they have one hour a day that is set on themselves. It is not about looking at how the business is doing, you know, checking out how the customers are doing, retention plans for customers. No, it is about themselves. They feed their minds, they feed their their spirit, they feed their bodies, they focus on themselves, the five hour rule. The second thing, practical thing that you can be able to do is to dig into your gifts and your talents. If you're a good writer, you're writing every day. If you are a good speaker, you're speaking every day, even if you're speaking to the mirror, speaking in the woods. Ask T.D. Jakes about that. You are doing that which is exemplifying and uh, deploying your gifts and your talents. And then number three, yesterday we talked about something critical, which is making sure that you are, have planned for your day, that every single minute of the day is accounted for, it is tracked. And we talked about this when we talked about urgency also. Making sure that if you said you're going to do something for two hours, it is two hours. You're not doing it for one and a half hours. You're not doing it for four hours. If you said you're going to be on social media for 30 minutes, you're going to be on social media for 30 minutes and you're out of there. That's urgency. It comes because you've planned for the day. You see, if you don't plan for the day, what happens? Just time just goes. You find that you're overlapping things that you're not supposed to do. You find yourself doing them. Things that were important are not being done. Things that are urgent looks like they're getting your attention because you've not planned yourself. But today I want us to close this episode by talking about one more aspect of being practical so that this day can be one of the most productive days of your life. This is a philosophical approach to being productive. And what I'm saying in this episode today is simply this. Some people do things because they want a result at the end of the day. They do things because they want a result at the end of the month, especially at the end of the month. And therefore you find that people do not engage themselves in anything that does not have a result or an impact at the end of the month. And so people are steeped into 
only doing that which is going to be paid for. And if it's not going to be paid for, guess what they do? They don't do it. So you find someone who is a big time writer. He is not writing. She is not writing. Why? Because nobody is going to pay them at the end of the month. That is a wrong approach to productivity. Your productivity is not necessarily supposed to be something that is tied to money at the end of the month. I know this is a very controversial topic. This is a very controversial statement to say. But it is true. True productivity is not necessarily supposed to be tied to something that is going to pay you at the end of the month. Yes, you've got to pay your bills. You've got to be paid and you've got to enjoy life and so on and so forth. But productivity is not a linear thing. It's not a trans- Life of productivity is not transactional. Let me say that. It is not transactional in, in such a way that I do, I get, I do, I get, I do, I get. Therefore, if I don't get, I don't do. If I don't get, I don't do. That is not how productivity is going to be like. Today, look for something that is not going to pay you a dime. Right? But at the end of the day, you are doing it because it is connected to your productivity. You can speak. If you have been given a voice to speak and you've been given a spirit to inspire people, start speaking today. If you're doing a podcast, do a podcast. If you're speaking just... For the sake of speaking and doing speaking practice, do it. You might not get uh, paid at the end of the month for that practice. Potential is not something that you're going to be paid for at the end of the month. Potential is something that takes years to expand. And today is contributory to that particular potential. What you do today is to make sure that you've done something that is excavating that potential. You can sing, sing, or prepare yourself. You can write, write, or prepare yourself. You can speak, speak. You can paint, paint. You can calculate, calculate. You can do customer service, do customer service. That particular day, do something that is going to contribute to your productivity. Don't wait for you to do things because... They are connected to you being paid. That is a wrong approach to productivity. I will be fooling you to tell you that you will see a payoff out of this kind of planning. Then I'm talking about in a few months that you sit down and you say, I'm going to be writing a thousand words a day if you're a writer every single day. And you know, someone is going to pay for it. I'll be fooling you. But you know what you're doing? You're sharpening your axe. Arkovi, Stephen Arkovi told us in the seven habits of highly effective people that habit number seven is to sharpen the soul. That means that you, you, you do the productive things that make you sharper, make you better. So that when an opportunity to showcase your expertise and your zeal and your work and your gifts and your talent and your potential comes, it always comes, by the way. That moment always comes. When that moment comes, you are ready. You are flying. You are in the zone. You are not struggling. You are not looking for PowerPoint presentations. You already have this stuff in your spirit. You are just spewing these things and they are connecting with people because you have been doing this productivity thing even when it doesn't pay. The moment for you to arise on the platform of prominence is going to come. You will be ready to the degree that you're doing what I'm telling you. Doing things that don't pay you at the end of the month. Doing things that don't pay you at the end of the day. But they are things that are connected to your productivity. It's a discipline. And it's supposed to take us years. You know, it's supposed to take us more than months. It's supposed to take us years. In my calculation, I think... Three years is the bare minimum that I can give to you if you are a writer, for example, and you wanted to come to the fall. Start now. Three years down the line, if you're doing this thing daily, when someone asks you to write a speech, you are not going to struggle. And by the way, they're going to appreciate the speech. They're going to just run with it. Someone asks you to write a book for them, you're going to write a book for them. Because you've been doing this, you've been practicing this in three years' time. The same with speaking, the same with whatever else that is something that you can do without being paid at the end of the month. Our biggest problem is looking to be paid at the end of the month. That is where our problem is. Potential is not like mushrooms that sprouts in a day. It takes years of consistent and incessant action to fully develop. Therefore, if you find that you're, you, you have something that you can do today, just because nobody's going to pay for it, stop postponing it or stop looking down on it do it today and then do it tomorrow and then keep doing it for years on end one day it's going to sprout out we're going to continue discussing these things in the next episode but until then bye bye
A special shout out to my mentor Jeffrey Howard of Visionary Business University found at mastermindmentor.com who has graciously provided me with the soundtrack and the introductory track to this podcast. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.